Hi guys, Michael here, welcome to the channel. Uh, recently I've made some progress on the Nokia Lumia 1020 phone. Uh, I've been doing a video recently about it. If you haven't seen it, I'm gonna put uh, the card in the right corner. So if you're interested, please check it out. And uh, this video is gonna be a follow up to that video because uh, there were some issues and uh, now uh, one of the viewers recommended uh, some steps the, that I should take uh, so I did those steps and they were successful so now I would like to go through it and show you what it's all about so without any further ado let's get into it okay guys so let's begin as you can see it all started with uh, this comment from the viewer as you can see there is said basically like if I want to use the Lumia camera or no Nokia Pro camera app I need to reset my phone with the Windows phone recovery tool on my PC so that's what we are gonna be doing you need to install the software I will gonna leave the link in the description below the link is uh, to the official Microsoft site so there is no junky stuff just the original software that's intended for, for it uh, basically then you just need to install it it's smaller package you know maybe like I don't know 20 megabytes and then you just need to connect your phone and as you can see then it's gonna show you it's gonna find your phone, identify it, you know, it's Nokia Lumia 1020 then it's gonna connect to it and here as you can see here is uh, the device info as you can see on my device the software, the firmware version was newer and uh, the software available on server was older version so basically I was downgrading my software, you know so I need to downgrade it in order to get the access to the Nokia Lumia app uh, because I think that the, basically they just uh, cancel it you know they just uh, get rid of the application uh, the camera application and they just left with the stock app you know uh, that uh, is not using all the potential of the camera you know because it's pretty good camera but uh, the application is not gonna let you use it to its full potential so because of that we need to install the Nokia Pro camera app or Lumia app and then uh, it's gonna let you use all its features basically you know and then uh, you just need to download the package that means the uh, desired software then you need to install the software uh, well the program is gonna do it all uh, by itself you know so you don't need to do anything just keep the phone connected until the process is finished and uh, then uh, you just need to wait until it's successfully completed and uh, then uh, that's basically it as you can see then uh, your phone will be restored to the factory settings well in this case it's gonna be downgraded to the older firmware version and uh, that's basically it you know then uh, you're just gonna you will go through the uh, you know setup process uh, at the beginning you know you just will set up all the things that needs to be set up language and things like that accept the terms connect to the network things like that and uh, then uh, finally it's gonna let you see what uh, it is all about and uh, in the software there is basically many more apps you know straight from the beginning you know so I haven't installed anything more and here as you can see there is the Nokia camera full resolution photos high high resolution zoom and creative control so yeah let's get into it open as you can see here it's just showing you like uh, you know like tutorial or something uh, what all you can do yeah just zoom slide to zoom then uh, change modes or something pro mode yeah yeah that's what I was interested most uh, in uh, like the pro 
pro mode you know that you are in full control of it there's some smart sequence then view and reframe and camera tool and uh, basically that's it yeah you can pinch to zoom and then crop it like reframe it you know because it is you can set it like uh, that you're gonna save the original resolution the photo and uh, like the smaller resolution you know i think it's like 8 and 40 megapixel or something like that so you will have uh, both version of the photo in your phone so if you want to uh, reframe it later you know the quality isn't going to be com compromised you know it's going to be same quality i haven't got much time to check out the all the features i will try to do it later uh, because I haven't got uh, much time to play with it. I just do a couple tests and then I just checked uh, some more uh, apps, you know, that uh, the, the new apps, you know, that was there there from straight from the beginning and that was basically it. Finally, there is also option to check out the image info, you know, uh, like exposure and ISO and uh, image size for example because in the older app there wasn't such option so i'm glad they included it in here and uh, also i was hoping that uh, when i'm gonna you know put there the older firmware uh, the developer phone registration is gonna work you know that it will be able to register the phone as a developer you know and uh, that you could you know silo the apps because uh, that's what holding me still back to put there some new apps uh, but unfortunately it was uh, still the same you know like i was trying to register it you know it was logging into the windows phone development cent developer center but uh, the outcome was still the same you know there was some error and uh, that's it uh, no luck in there uh, okay guys that would be it for this video I hope you enjoyed it, give the thumbs up if you like it, don't forget to subscribe, there are new videos coming, and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.